Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be doing a full face of Revolution Beauty Makeup. Now I've been gathering a lot of Revolution Beauty Makeup in the past, I want to say about five years. And I decided that why not do a full face because a lot of you guys, you know, you're on a budget, you're either going to school or you either have a job that doesn't pay very well and you want something that's relatable, something that's affordable. So I decided to go ahead and do this Revolution Beauty full face of a makeup because they are a good drugstore brand they're affordable and <clears throat> in most cases they are accessible so i decided to go ahead and do a full face so it's going to be a talk through you guys so i hope that you understand it better and i hope that you're inspired and i hope that you find you find something in this video that you can you know maybe go out there and get if you can afford to buy the higher end makeup so let's go ahead and start off this video i do not have a moisturizer from Revolution, so I'm just gonna go ahead and prime my face and then move on with the look. So I do hope you enjoy this video. All right, my lovely. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use their Hydrate, Hydrate. That's the name of it, and it's their Hydrate and Prime Primer. So I'm gonna go ahead and prime just a bit. Oh, oh wow, this is quite runny. I've never used this one before. I've got their matte one. And I really don't like it that much because I don't find it that mattifying. But this one is quite runny. So this is if you have dry skin, you can use something like this to hydrate your skin before you apply your foundation. And sometimes I do use hydrating primer even though I have oily skin because I find that when I use certain mattifying foundations, it leaves my skin really, really dry. So I like to use hydrating primers when i'm using like really matte foundations so that feels good it actually feels like it moisturizes as well okay so we're going to go ahead and add the foundation i'm going to be using the conceal and define full coverage foundation and this is in the shade f13 don't worry i know this foundation doesn't match my skin but by the time i set my face and bronze it will be okay so now that the foundation is done it's looking a bit off but it's okay we're going to tidy it up at the end of the video to make it look to make it look a little bit better so i'm going to go ahead and do my brows and i'll be using their brow pencil in the shade what's it called i think it's dark brown and it comes with a brush like this at this end and then it has this part right here you just do it like that and this is the shade dark brown i like these pencils because i don't have to sharpen them because sometimes i can't find my sharpener so having a Pencil like this is always good. So I'm going to quickly do my brows, you guys. Nothing new. This brow pencil is quite dark and quite pigmented. So you have to be careful how you use it. Usually I like to use a lighter brown. But this one is a little bit darker than what I usually use, but it's okay, it's okay. Okay guys, so to do my brows, I'm gonna be using their Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade 12.2, and that's just to, you know, shape up and clean up my brows. So I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand and tidy up my brows this concealer is quite nice you guys it has a really nice consistency so I'm going to go ahead and finish these brows off camera and then I'll be right back to do my eyes Okay guys, so I'm going to quickly apply some base and I'm using their concealer palette and I'm just going to go ahead and use this color right here just to act as the base for my lid colors. And this is mostly what I use 
for my eyeshadows. I use this, then I go in and set it with powder, usually. So this is the darkest my brows have ever been. And it's just because I couldn't get a color, a brow pencil that's close to what I usually use. But I will, I will make it work, you guys. I know how to improvise. So I'm going to blend it out some more and make it look a little less harsh. So let's go ahead and blend out that concealer. And then after I've blended out the concealer, I'm going to go ahead and set it with their banana powder, which looks like that. Okay, so the look I'll be doing today, you guys, I'm going to be I'm, I'm going to be doing an autumn look because it's officially autumn, fall as they say in America. So I'll be doing an autumn look. So it's going to be a bit grungy, a bit of red, a bit of bronze and... The palette I'll be using today is the Fire Palette from Revolution, from their Forever Flawless Palette Collection. I'll be using this here palette. And you guys know that I like this palette because I've, I've done a review, which I will leave up top so you guys can see it. But I'll be using this palette today because it, it's got some really nice colors that are perfect for autumn. Yeah. So I'll be using lots of reds, browns, and bronze, and stuff like that. So there is no 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 method to this whole thing you guys. I'm just going to go ahead and get started basically. So I'm going to first go in with the brown and it's called Ashes. This one right here is the first shade I'm going in with as my transition shade. I just cannot seem to find a brush. So Ashes is going to be my transition shade. And I'm just bending that, blending, not bending, blending that back and forth in the crease area because I want to make sure that it's, there are no harsh lines. So we're bringing that out a bit and a little bit above my crease. So that's the first color we're start, starting off with. I can't speak today. What is going on? Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and use the shade called Inferno to intensify that brown this one right here and then I'm going to bring it in like that because I want to do something like halo eyes and bring it in the inner corner and I'm going to do the same thing over here Bring some into the outer corner and the inner corner as well. This is not, this color is not popping as I'd like it to pop, but we're going to build it. I don't want any harsh lines. So what I'm going to do now guys is quickly carve out this area of my eye because that's where I want to put my lid shade. So it's something of, you know, halo eyes basically. So I'll be using the shade, this one right here. And I'm going to pop that right in here. That's a pretty color. Sort of a coppery shade, perfect for autumn. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and apply that until I get the desired amount and then we're gonna go back into Inferno and blend out the edges Go back into its extinguish. I'm going back into ashes to blend out the top here. So I don't have a liquid liner from them. I have their gel eyeliner, smoky waterproof gel eyeliner in black. So I'm going to tight line a bit and then line my waterline area. What the hell is going on? I really don't know how people tight line you guys. I'm almost poking my eyes out. Off the top of the bat, this is not the best eyeliner. It's a bit, it's breaking. But it's nice and black. Black enough. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put some lashes on and the lashes are not from Revolution. The lashes are going to be from my brand, Sean's Beauty, and I'm going to be putting on the pair called Sally. And I don't have a mascara from them either, so I'm just going to go ahead and just comb my own lashes with their spoolie. Right, guys so i'm going to be using their same concealer that i did my brows with the conceal and define in 12.2 to highlight my under eye area on my nose right here and i'm going to blend that out with one of my eco sponges let's see how these work oh they're okay but i think i need a bigger sponge for this because that's going to take forever i'll use that to apply my powder but it's just going to take too long with those tiny sponges I like this concealer quite a bit. I really like it. It's not hard to blend out. Camera just switched off on me. How rude. And then I'm going to go ahead and dust this powder off. But before I do that, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and use some of Wildfire here to pop into my inner corners. My inner corners. Inner corners. 
wildfire in here whoa I'm not getting that pop I need it's coming it's coming okay so let me go dust this powder off you guys and come back and finish off my face and then I want to intensify the outer area just a little bit more. Use I'm going to try their matte base powder in the shade P12 to set my face. I don't know how this is going to look because I don't think it's the right shade. But let's see. It's a bit red, I think. It's coming off a bit red. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to be using their Base Fix Makeup Fix Fixing Spray. Yeah. All right, my lovelies, I've already added my fixing spray. And now I'm going to go ahead and highlight using their dedicated highlighter palette. I really, really love this highlighter palette. And I'll be using the shade called Persevere, which is this one right here. And I'm going to highlight... Even though it's autumn, that doesn't mean you can't still glow, darling. I mean, why not? And a little bit on Zeno's. Just blend that out. And I'm going to go back in and spray again. <laughs> just because this spray is actually nice you guys this setting spray is actually let's fix this nose oh I didn't bronze hmm so I'll be using their bronzer and it's in the shade zero to warm. So let me go ahead and quickly bronze, bronze. Just to warm up my face a bit. Alright my lovelies, I'm going to finish off this look by using their matte lipstick in the shade Diamond Life. And then I'm going to top that off with their lip share, uh, lip, lip, sorry, lip gloss. So that's the lip gloss. I think you can buy these in a set as well as individually. And this is their lipstick, which is a deep berry shade. So fitting for autumn. I forgot how pigmented these lipsticks are. Oh my goodness. Okay guys, so this is the final look. I do hope you like it. I do hope you think it's autumn fall appropriate. If you do like this look, go ahead and thumbs up this video. Go ahead and subscribe and leave me a comment to let me know what look you'd like to see next. And if you like this look, of course, thank you so much for watching and I do hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye. My pistons pumping all in